Yo, welcome back to another video guys. I hope you're having an amazing day and today I'm back doing some more battles between bosses I'm gonna be continuing the grandfather spider versus his children So in the first one I did the grandfather spider versus the scorpion and you can see that I'm in Polaris outside the horizon hold Which is where the rat is the bat will probably be tomorrow's video But I did see a couple of you guys saying that you wanted me to do the rat So we are gonna do that first you also might be confused to why I have no gear on and if you didn't see yesterday's video then first make sure to go and watch that but pretty much in the summer update you can see down at the bottom of the screen they changed mega sooth and before the update this was an x pip spell and when i did cast it on like the opponent and i had a minion up like the grandfather spider it would make it so that the opponent didn't attack me and they only attacked my minion but now that it's only a one round spell and it's not like permanent until i hit the enemy again it just doesn't really work that well and even though there is a two pip version even if I put max of them inside of my TC deck, that's just gonna waste so much time that it's not really worth it. But some of you may know that if you do have a monstrology minion up and you do end up dying in the battle, then the battle won't end at all. So I literally just have zero resist so that the rat can kill me pretty easily, and then he'll have his main target on the grandfather spider. So now I'm gonna run in and set this up. I'm literally just spawning in the grandfather spider right on the first round. I actually haven't done the rat in such a long time and I didn't check his health. So how much health does he have? Oh shit, bro. He has 28k. It's not more than the grandfather's spider, but I remember the rat having some pretty good cheese. Like, what is this? How much? I don't... That, what? That Did that do 600 to the grandfather's spider? I think that's what I saw, but it did... I don't even know. What? 800 to me? And then that does another 800 plus a universal 45% trap? So I don't even really know what triggered that. It's probably because I spawned in a minion or something but I'm not even 100% sure. But you can see there, I'm basically dead now, so most of his target will be on the Grandfather Spider, especially after this hit. You can see the Grandfather Spider is already going for a shadow version of Glowbugs. Look at this. He didn't get the crit, but how much? That's doing 2300 and the rat had no resist. That might be because he had infowl and look at that. I forgot in the new update, it shows the stats that the aura gives you. So that's pretty cool. But really quick, I'm actually going to look up what the rat's stats are because I literally haven't done that yet. But before I do that, you can see the grandfather spider is going for his natural attack. He didn't crit again. But how much? Bro, that's 900. 920 for four pips, I think. Man, I thought the rat had way better cheats than this. Wait, what is this? Is this the same thing? Oh no, it's some lasers. But it still does 600, but I'm dead now. So the rat will only be focused on the grandfather's spider. Man, I just looked up his list of cheats and holy shit, bro. It's like 50 paragraphs. There's no way I'm reading that. Actually, most of it is about his minions. Yeah, that's what I remember. Doesn't he spawn in like some weird minions? Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, so he's gonna spawn in a... What, was it because of his blade? I think it was because of his blade, but he spawns in that minion. It's a Titan Experiment 291. It only has one health, but I'm pretty sure that's the one that does like insane bold or something. Oh shit, wait, the grandfather spider just spawned in another one because of that shadow blade. Okay, yeah, look at this. He's transforming himself into like the better version. I don't think he goes off yet. I think it's... Actually, he might go off, but I'm pretty sure eventually he just goes for an insane bolt that one kills himself and then it also does a bunch of damage to like, I don't know if it's to all the people or if it's only to one, but since the grandfather spider is the only one in the battle right now, obviously it'll only go on him. So what is this? Oh no, it's a wild bolt. So it only did 250, but it didn't take any of his pips. I'm a bit confused, but you know what? It's okay. I probably should have read the cheats, but now the grandfather spider is going for this. Is it frenzy kraken? I forget the name exactly, but it does a thousand damage and it adds that trap. But adding that trap made him spawn in another minion. I'm pretty sure it's not the exact same one as the death minion, but look at that. Okay, that's the final form. What the fuck? Bro, he looks crazy. Imagine if that was one of the polymorphs that you could polymorph into from like the crown shop. That would actually be insane, bro. That looks sick. But now he is going for this insane bolt. How much does it do? 1400? And it does kill himself, but what? How is he supposed to win? Because if he just keeps blading, they're just going to keep spawning in. Okay, so this one's going for another wow bolt. But that insane bolt, every single time they do end up getting to like that top tier, which he's going into right now, they just do a ton of damage because of their insane bolt. And then the rat still goes for this cheat as well, which does... Oh shit, wait, what? 
Why'd that do so much? That was 1100. Last time it was only doing like 1600, bro. His cheats are actually insane. And it, wait, he just went for a frostbite that would have stunned him if he wasn't stun immune. And now this guy is going for his insane bull. He gets the crit. Does he always crit? It does 1500. So no, he doesn't always crit. Like, what is he supposed to do? That's so much damage automatically. There's no way one grandfather spider can beat the rat. This is insane. Literally, if he just goes for any blade, he takes so much damage. Wait, what? There's no way. That last one just went for a... Is that a bad juju? Well, it killed him, obviously. What is he supposed to do against that? He literally can't do anything unless he kills the minion earlier. So he's going for this shadow version of glow bugs. But he has that minus 25 and a minus 90. That, like, 229. There's, like, zero chance one grandfather spider can beat this battle. I forgot how weird the rat fight is. Like, I knew it was weird. But I didn't know it was this weird. And he just went for that shadow blade and he spawned in that minion. He is going for this kraken, though. He has a blade and also that infowl. He also has that trap on him. So another thousand i mean that's not even too bad i guess but that trap makes him go for that minion that does the minus 90 i forgot about that yeah that kraken is not good it actually might not be the trap i think it's because he's going for a single target hit on the rat i'm not a hundred percent sure i should probably be looking at the cheats or something but like at this point there's no way one grandfather spider can do this unless he just doesn't blade but, like, why wouldn't he blade? That's not in his AI. But I'm looking at the rat's resist right now, and he only has 15% to storm, so it's nothing too major. And also only 15% to shadow, so, like, his resist really isn't that great. It's just the minions are doing so much damage to him. Like, that's not that much because it's just the wild bull. But once he gets to his last tier, he's going to be doing so much damage just because of some insane bull. Only because the grandfather spider went for a blade. And now he's going for this titan cheat again. So that one only does 600. Oh, so maybe he crit last time. I don't think it popped up as him critting. But that's probably what happened. And then there's this insane bull. So he got the crit and it does 1500. So literally anytime he blades... He's taking an automatic 1500 damage unless he goes for like a shadow glow bugs and kills him. But like he hasn't done that yet once. He's going for his natural attack though with a blade but he also has that minus 25. So I don't know how much. Oh 1700. I mean that was super good. I think it was like 8 pips or something. To be fair they are at the same amount of health and they do start around like pretty even health. I mean the grandfather spider does start off with 2800 more health but look at that. He gets that minus 90 again because of that death one. That shit is broken. If he goes for a major hit okay at least he's passing. Like what could he go for though? maybe oh that storm snake he has like a storm snake but that gives him a trap so like then it'll spawn in another one like there's nothing he can do and then the rat is still dealing like decent damage plus it gave him that plus 45 and he's going for another kraken and this kraken gives him the trap is it the trap that triggers that minion though i'm gonna look that up right now i am on the site but i want to see that so obviously that's not doing that much because he had that minus 90 on but it spawns in that minion, which is so bad. So I was looking on the wiki, and it is if you do a trap on the rat. He's just going for a hit, but his hit gives him a trap. So there's like nothing you can do about that. And 1700, and that damage was just free. Like, holy shit, that's crazy. Man, he's going for a Calypso. Is that windstorm going to trigger the cheat? It's a windstorm. It goes off before. So the trap will go onto him, and then he'll use it, obviously. But will it spawn in one of the death ones? I swear to God, if it spawns in one of the death ones, there's no way. But what? The rat is going for a snowball barrage. 1,400. I didn't even see how many pips he had. He had to have had a decent amount, though, if it's doing 1,400 to the grandfather spider. Because his ice resist isn't, like, bad. So, obviously, the Calypso is putting on that windstorm. I'm just interested to see if it makes him spawn in another death minion. If it does, it's over. Like, what? What's he supposed to do? A thousand and it does. That is so broken. It's just a windstorm that he uses with the hit. And he just got another minus 90. This is so bad. Plus a minus 25. What did he go for? Oh, he went for a faint. Oh, wait, it's a mass faint? I didn't even know he had that. Well, actually, yes, I did. What am I saying? So, but no, that makes him spawn in another fucking minion, bro. 
This is so bad. Holy shit. And he's hitting through the minus 90 with a nested fury. Actually, wait. Will it kill both of them? It might kill both of those minions. He got the crit, but obviously it's not going to do anything. He has a minus 25, a minus 90. I just want to see if it does any damage to the minions. Six. It did six damage. So that one is still alive. He killed one of them at least. But now because he didn't actually kill the minion, he's just going to get minus 90 again. So there's like no way one grandfather spider can do this. So I'm not going to make you guys watch the rest of this battle because look at this. He's going for another blade and a blade spawns in the one that goes for the insane bolt, which does like what? 1500. So there's like no way one grandfather spider can do this. Wait, is it already round 30? I think this is the hit that does a million damage is it it is bro it did a million damage bro it was already round 30 that actually came so quick it wasn't even too long since i cut the video off you can see the rat is still around the same health like nothing really even changed so for you guys that didn't know the rat has a cheat to where if you don't kill him in 30 rounds he literally ends the battle because he does a million damage and there's really nothing you can do about it. But now I have two of my accounts here and we're going to be doing two grandfather spiders against the rat to see if they can win. If two grandfather spiders can't beat the rat, then there's a problem here. Like they're doing something wrong. And I would be using my myth wizard so that I could just spawn in both of the grandfather spiders on one account. But my myth is only in chrysalis right now. So I don't have access to this dungeon on him. So this is like the next best thing but they've already gone for two traps which means there's two minions that are gonna do minus 90s in three rounds yo this could actually be so clutch right now okay the last grandfather spider is going for a shadow version of power nova which i'm pretty sure should actually kill all of those minions and if it does that means they won't be getting minus 90 so he got the crit but he has that plague on i know they have a bunch of resist but i think it does kill them Okay, it kills them by a lot. Thank God. So they're not going to be getting those minus 90s. And also, they are killing that last minion, which I think... Wait, what was it? It might have been because of a blade, so they're not going to get insane bolted as well. But another main thing we have to keep in mind is if they can't kill the rat by themselves within 30 rounds, then they're just going to get that 1 million damage thing by like the... uh Whatever that golem thing is in the back, he just does a million damage if they can't kill the rat in 30 rounds. But yo, now the first grandfather spider is coming in clutch. He's going for a shadow version of glow bugs, which will get rid of that minion that they just spawned in. I think it was a blade one. I wasn't really paying attention though, so I'm not 100% sure. So obviously this kills the minion, but he didn't get the crit, but it should still do a decent amount to the rat. Yeah, 2300 with no crit plus that plague on him. That was definitely worth it. And now the second grandfather spider is going for his natural attack, which does... 600 which isn't bad as long as they keep killing the minions right when they get spawned in so they can't use their like last tier thing especially the minus 90s like if they get that bad juju off it's so bad because i'm pretty sure it goes on everybody but now the first grandfather spider is going for nested fury there isn't any minions it hits ice and only does 2400 i said only but that's still a good amount the rat is super close to being dead i just didn't want you guys to have to sit through all of that because it's pretty much the exact same stuff that the one grandfather spider did just obviously he wasn't powerful enough to kill the rat but i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest i have no idea what round it is so wait really is it is it okay no it's not the last round i, I could have sworn bro that text at the top i really thought it was the last round if this was round 30 and they got the rat down to like 2k health I would have been so sad. They didn't go for a hit, which means this guy is going to be going for a minus 90 on both of them. And they're still not going for a hit. Now they're getting the minus 90. Like, actually, they might die to the 1 million damage cheat. Like I said, I have no idea what round it is. But I feel like it's coming pretty soon. Like, 30 rounds isn't that many rounds. This fight really shouldn't be this close. They're about to get minus 90 again because they didn't kill that minion over there. No, this combo probably would have killed too because they're both going for a Hydra. But this guy is going for that minus 90. Wait, what? No, is it? It's right. Wait, I think it's round 30. It is. There's no way. How? Two grandfather spiders couldn't do it they're so trash how the f how are they this bad 
That is sad. Man, I'm not gonna lie. The grandfather spiders threw at the end. They had like six rounds to do 2,000 damage. Both of them, like either one of them could have done the 2,000 damage and they just didn't do shit. That's 100% their fault. Like, what the fuck? They literally had everything going for them. 2,000 damage in six rounds? That doesn't seem that hard. But yeah, two grandfather spiders definitely can kill the rat. It just really depends on how good their AI is in that fight. And their AI was fine at the start. Just at the end, it was so bad. But anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you did enjoy, then make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. That really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.